Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck, and today I'll be doing a start to finish install and style. This one comes courtesy of Hermosa Hair, and as you guys can see, I'm feeling myself. We're going to be doing this beautiful half up, half down with the Instagram baby hair. It's all going to be step by step beginner friendly, so if you're interested in getting the look and the style and the tea, keep on watching. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. It'll help me out so much. Now let's get into it. So this is the wig straight out of the box. She is a color number 33, which is pretty much described as a reddish brown wig. The dimensions of the lace are 13 by 4, and then she is a body wave texture, 24 inches in length and 220% density. Of course, a direct link is in the description box. Here I am just showing you all of those specs in person. I wanted you to see the inside lace. I wanted you to see what the hair looked like from the back and all of the natural texture and just really get a good color shot. I also wanted you to see what it looked like parted as a center part. But let's go ahead and customize. This is what it looks like if you kind of pull a little bit of hair forward. It is pre-plucked, so you really don't have to do much customization. You can tint the lace and even if you want to tweeze in the hairline, you definitely have that option, but it's not mandatory. Let's go ahead and cut off all of the excess lace. Again, if you want to tint the lace, go ahead and do it uh, now before you do the install. Also, if you want to tweeze, again, do that before. It's never too late, but it's just easier to do it before. As you guys can see, once you cut the lace, the wig fits glueless. I'm going to go ahead and bond it down for a more melted fit as well as to like form the baby hair and just make it perfect. But I am going to go ahead and tint the lace just a little bit along the hairline. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I believe my color is like coconut or something like that. I'll have the direct or the exact color in the description box. Um, I'm looking to find the one a shade darker. My local Target doesn't sell it, so I'm going to try and find it online. But I would like a shade darker just to see what it look like, especially for like lighter units like blonde, um, because every single lace doesn't read the same as far as adding your foundation. Here we are bonding the wig down. I am using the red Eben. This one here is an active adhesive, so it is going to last and give you a nice hold, but it's not going to have all of the cakey residue that a traditional lace glue would have. And of course, it may not last as long. Because it is a liquid in an aerosol can. Again, it's just more easy and convenient to install. You don't have to add layers and let it dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some baby hair. I didn't want to tweeze. I wanted to leave everything as is. So I just found a piece of hair like right above the arch of the eyebrow. And went ahead and cut a lot. I wanted it nice and full like the Instagram girls. Cut it pretty short. Um, I did go ahead and flat iron it and then I curled it like away or up and then I went ahead and formed it. I'm going to repeat this step on the opposite side and these are nice and chunky pieces. Typically I would go ahead and trim them down but again I wanted to go for like the Instagram style with the nice full fluffy curly baby hair and I think I achieved it. The key to it is really just the curl with that little mini um, flat iron. And then I think I took mousse. Yeah, I took mousse to go ahead and apply as an adhesive. You can definitely use an edge control, which is typically what I would use. It's a more like fluffy option and it won't weigh the hair down. But if you do use like a um, edge control, I highly recommend that you only put it on the base of the baby hair. Now let's go ahead and just form some faux sideburns because my hair is not this color my natural hair i really like it when you do like sideburns as something to kind of like pull the hair forward around your ear that way you don't see that dark hair underneath to complement the baby hair i'm gonna go ahead and make this kind of thick and full too if this is not for you you can skip this step i highly recommend using just a wax stick and pulling all of the hair back and then using the hot comb to do the dynamic duo and just really making sure everything looks nice and neat and just like push back or to the side or however you want it but again this is just an option for those of us girlies who want to be a little bit more extra now for the sideburn baby hair i did move it or curl it forward as well as like the top baby hair i made it curl away from the face i think i am confusing myself so hopefully you guys can just watch and follow along and see now you kind of have to train it i remember when i first started doing this type of baby hair it would literally take me like 45 minutes easily to get this and so it's getting a lot easier it's about like holding it in place and letting it like mold and form but this is what it looks like when it's completely done 
if you want you can leave it down or kind of just do like a flip over method or you can do like a center part or a side part i opted for half up half down i really want it to be like nice and voluminous i love a good colored wig like in a half up half down ponytail to me per personally this just looks really good now let's go ahead and mold the ponytail i am using the wax stick from budakpd.com paired with the electric hot comb and this is just going to make the lace as flat and neat as possible so that the uh ponytail is not too bulky I don't mind it if it looks a little bit messy, but I just wanted to have some kind of, um, you know, like neatness to it, like especially in the center and around the lace. Now that we have it up in a ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and wand curl it. Now this is a body wave texture, so if you want to leave it as is or just wet it or like add mousse or a cream, curl cream, you can definitely do that. But just for a more sleek look, I did go ahead and just use the wand curler and just grab nice chunky pieces and curls away from my face. After I finished the ponytail curls, I did go ahead and add the Sebastian Shapers. And then I did one side off camera and then I did the opposite side as well. And this was the result. I'm going to go ahead and just take a little piece of the hair from the ponytail and wrap it around the base. Covering the rubber band just seemed like a simple, subtle step, but it just really elevates even the messiest ponytails and make it look like high fashion or you know just makes it look a little bit more professional and to secure it instead of adding like bobby pins because i hate the way they stick your head i went ahead and just added a little bit of got to be glue spray and the stickiness of it paired with a blow dryer on a hot setting will have it stick now this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like from the back. The hair is nice and full and I did not take the curls to the root so you can definitely flat iron that if you want it a little bit more neat. And this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Now let's go ahead and just give my little review on everything. Okay babies, putting my camera, not my camera, my work phone, business phone back into my little tripod. This little thing is by far the best tripod ever it's so thin and compact and um i'm able to use this right alongside my filming camera to film tiktoks so follow me on tiktok right now i'm ashley bedeck official there um, i'm trying to just get back ashley bedeck and look how small it gets and even this goes in all the way and then it has a de attachable or detachable um remote i'm not gonna take it out but there's a remote right here that you can take out and use it as you know one of these and you can put it like overhead like if you are like doing a little instagram food videos over a counter i mean this thing is amazing but anyways this one comes courtesy of hermosa hair this was the bag the way it came in and then um oh that looks so pretty and then i also got wig caps pack of lashes and I think it's something else in here oh a bra strap style adjustable elastic band that you can add in for a little bit of comfort the textures body wave 24 inches in length I think the color is a number 33 and I'm not going to say the density. I think this is the density, but I won't say that because I the numbers kind of cut off and I don't want to guess and tell you guys the wrong density. So check the description box for density and all that. This video was supposed to come out before the new year, but I had a little bit of a hiccup with it. But I'm kind of glad I did because today I had the energy, the new year, new me. Today is actually New Year's Day. So uh, in the spirit of the new year, new me, I went and I filmed two TikToks today and I actually posted them. So the one for this wig is already there just because because the last time I tried to film like a wig tutorial over there, I saved it. And then when I came back to post it, when I posted the hair tutorial, it was completely nowhere to be found. Don't want that to happen today. So it's already posted before. But you guys can see it's pretty much cut and dry what we did. I wanted to go for half up, half down with curls today. Body Wave is the best to do it because it already has like the bounce and the volume to carry the wave. And then of course I went with a little bit of like social media, Instagram baby hair. If you don't like the baby hair, you can definitely skip out. Something I did was an oldie but goodie. And sometimes I just kind of want to like smack myself on the butt because it's like, this here is an OG lace tint for me and I've done so many other things in like the last two, three, maybe even four years that it's like, why didn't I stick to this? I use this just mainly on the lace line on this wig and I didn't even add powder to the front and you guys can see how amazing it looks. None of that white shadow, none of that white cast. Um, you don't need anything else. Maybe fit me. 
like towards the beginning of my like hair tutorial days was like the goat and of course you use something for so long and you decide oh, i'm gonna switch it up and then it's not even better than what you were using before i hate that for me but i am happy that i rediscovered it this one will look beautiful down um with no parting as you guys seen and then it'll also look amazing as a center part side part whatever you choose i love 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 the volume the height and the curls it definitely goes with the new year's day theme and of course it looks beautiful against my complexion starting the new year with the bang so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm ashley if you're tuning in for the first time subscribe if you haven't already happy new year happy 2023 and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches